Hey guys, so I wanted to come on here and do an updated video. So, um, I'm currently engaged, which people have been asking about that. I got engaged um, back in October, so I am engaged and I'm super excited and happy. Um, I haven't shared that on here yet, um, <clears throat> but anyways, I am. And I did currently move for my apartments to a house and I'll show that sometimes whenever I start feeling better. But anyway, so a lot of people have been asking about that. So I wanted to update that. So um, I have almost everything out of my apartment moved out, but probably another day's worth. Um, I started um, like moving, I guess last month. And then I had um, just slowly at a, like, you know, a little at a time. And right when we were going to go back and finish it up, I got sick. We got sick. So, um, I came down with COVID, I guess, um, right before Thanksgiving. I think it was like the, when is Thanksgiving? The 25th? I think it was like the 25th or something out here. But anyways, um, I'm kind of lightheaded. I was recording some songs while I go, some Christmas songs, and I probably shouldn't have done that, but I did. Um, but anyways, I had started feeling bad, um, right after Thanksgiving. Um, just, I didn't think nothing of it. I thought it was allergies because you know how the, the, the weather changes and stuff. It, and like my nose was running, um, sneezed a couple of times. So I didn't think nothing of it. A couple of days went by, um, around the 27th, I guess it was. And, um, started feeling worse like my throat was kind of getting scratchy so it kind of felt like normally I get strep throat every year and it kind of felt like strep throat um so I'm like man something's not right I think I might be getting strep throat so um went to sleep that night I was like chilling um I was aching really bad but I thought the aching was from my back because my back hurts most of the time um not so much now since I've not been working. Um, but anyways, I thought it was from that. Um, so those of you that, you know, have known that, um, I'm currently got a new job. However, I got, I had got laid off cause those jobs don't last long, like with the union or whatever. So I got laid off, um, from that. So I've not been working. So anyways, the first like second, third night, um, I was kind of, I was like, who is that? Um, kind of cramping, like my legs and stuff was cramping. Um, but like I said, I really didn't think nothing of it. I thought it was from my back, but that was the first start of it. Oh, look at the sun shining in right there. Um, so this, after that night, it hit strong. My fiance started getting sick. But his was kind of slow too like that. So I'm thinking, oh Lord. Um, and now nowadays COVID's out there. You automatically think, God, is it COVID or, you know, what's going on? But anyway, so we, like we were home and um, we kept getting sick. So it, it kind of like I've never had the flu, but I'm thinking, man, it might be strep throat or the flu or something. But it kept getting worse and worse and worse. And the symptoms are out of this world. They're everywhere. So starting off, um, I guess the, the third and fourth day, I guess it was the third day, it hit us real bad. And um, I had to drive up to my apartment to get, or to check my mail. So I went and done that. And I had talked to my fiance and I'm like, I think I'm gonna go get tested, you know. But anyway, so I did. And uh, because like, like while I was driving, um, I felt so tired and like, just like not like I didn't want to do anything. And I felt like just r run over by a train or something's what I felt like just achy all over. And so, um, I went and got tested. They done the swab thing or whatever. My arm's getting weak holding this up. Um, but anyways, um, uh, got the swab took like, I think two to three days, but during that time, let me tell you. So that was the onset, like it starts out like you feel like you have something in your, now this is my experience. It starts out 
like you have something in your throat like sore throat but it feels like there's just something there that's how I felt um runny nose I sneezed we sneezed a lot um a bunch of times um after when I done the test and that next night went to sleep woke up which during this time you're having the aches you're having the pains you're having the fever like I would wake up in the middle of the night with cold sweats and be drenched all over with sweat um so I'd like throw the covers off of me and I done that for three or four days five days um but after when I got swabbed that next day and I'm gonna be out of all, like all over the place I should have wrote this down but you do have brain fog like you hear people talking about it your brain's fogged up and it continues to stay fogged up for a while it's crazy I'm already scattered rain guys but um anyway so that light's like right there so um woke up that morning my head hurt it felt like i have i have never had a bad headache this bad i had one when i had strep throat like a real bad headache but i had never in my life had a headache like this i woke up and as soon as my head rose up it felt like from here all the way up like hammers were just all over my head and i had to lay back down and i'm like man something's wrong here you have all kinds of symptoms i'm having all these symptoms and i'm thinking i didn't i didn't think that it would be covid like starting out um so the next couple of days before the test results came back we laid a lot we like the first three four days we slept like forever like we'd lay on the couch watch tv just didn't feel like doing anything um we pretty much made ourselves eat like that's like you just don't have an appetite at all like i didn't have any type of appetite at all and then those symptoms um it's not cold out here but i might need to these cars are going by um i might need a blanket or something but um yeah you just don't have an appetite at all Look at my porch out here. It's a huge, big old porch. I love it. Let me get it. Let me get a um, little blanket, and then I'll get back with you. I'm gonna grab one real hey, quick. Hey, this is much better. It's not cold out here, but I don't want to get any sicker than what I am. But uh, after getting better, um, so man, I've got a hair on me. I'm still kind of short breath. The, all of this, all these symptoms with this COVID stuff's crazy. I'm telling you. Um, so right where I left off, didn't have an appetite to eat that much. We pretty much had to force ourselves to eat. Um, but after another day, I kept checking that to see if um, I heard a rooster. Y'all hear that? heard roosters chickens so after um we didn't have an appetite the next day or so i think it took two to three days for the results to come back um one morning i had got a made some coffee the coffee that i made i would just leave it in there sitting and wouldn't hardly touch it and um so i, I, I took a sip of coffee didn't think nothing of it and didn't have like an appetite so we were just eating like cookies and stuff for breakfast in the mornings because just wasn't hungry and i started eating the cookies and i'm like i can't taste a thing my nose was already stopped up couldn't smell because i just thought because my nose was stopped up started eating and it's the weirdest thing ever it's not like it's like when you lose your taste buds when you're eating it's it's just weird like it's the weirdest thing ever you can't taste anything and i'm starting to like trying to taste it and i looked at my fiance and i'm like okay i can't taste nothing and so i kept chewing it around in my mouth and i'm like uh oh because they say that's like one of the main things is like lose of smell and taste and i'm like okay here we go so by the time that i couldn't taste or smell i'm thinking well maybe i do have it Cause I kept having all these different side effects. Um, um, 
started getting chest pain. Um, but the third and fourth day, I noticed like this cough. The cough was like a, it wasn't like coughing all the time, but it was a very deep cough. Like when you cough, you feel like, you know, you've been like congested, congested for a long time. That's what it felt like. I, the cough was so deep and like sounded like down in there real, like congested or whatever. So I done that. Um, and I was kind of getting scared because, um, like me with heart trouble and stuff. And then like days went on, but like during this whole time and process, it's like, honest to God, I think that it lowered my blood pressure. So during this time I was already tired and like the fatigue is like crazy out of this world. So during those times, I wouldn't take my heart pills. Like I'll take one in the morning. I would skip one in the, like the middle of the, I take three a day. I would skip the one in the middle cause I was just so tired and so low and like my heart felt fine like during this time. And so I would only take like one or two heart pills because I was just fatigued and tired and like I just already felt like my my blood pressure was bottomed or whatever. Cause the heart pills that I take, it bottoms your heart your blood pressure. It's a it's a beta blocker, so it it lowers your heart and it lowers your blood pressure. So I'm like I don't need any more lower blood pressure, so I didn't take my heart pills. But like when I needed them, um, <clears throat> I noticed. I know this is scattered. I should have wrote this down, but I'm just giving y'all my experience. Um, I noticed um, chest pain. Like I was getting, it just, it honestly, like people say you feel like an elephant's on your chest. I felt that. And um, it was in spells. Like you'd feel it here and there throughout the day. And it just literally just feels like something's just right here laying on you or whatever. So I done that um, after when I got the positive um, reading, I knew like, you know, we just gotta just lay here, take it easy. And that's what we done. You literally don't have the strength to get up and do anything. Um, we're finally off of uh, the quarantine thing, but we laid around um, and still now it's just it's horrible like i still feel like crap but feel a lot better um i started getting diarrhea like this is just days afterwards this is like all that i experienced diarrhea um i had i had the diarrhea for like um three four days and it was like soon as you get up and eat something your stomach hurts and it's like it's a weird thing it's like real bloaty and uh your stomach's like constantly rolling and it feels crazy it's weird like the side effects that you have with covid so weird um and the cramps the stomach cramps are horrible like i cramped so bad and um he had his sister to go get like some stuff for us because like we li literally lived off of what we had like because you can't get out and she had um went and got us some stuff and so I had them to get orange juice for me and I would drink that and it like it would go right through me but they say like vitamin C and stuff's good for you so I would drink orange juice I'm still drinking orange juice now um but the most important thing is we had mild symptoms and I'm thankful for that I'm thankful that God you know had his hand up on us and you know watched after us because it's honestly this is the worst kind of thing that I've ever been in like sick wise I'm the type of person, even with my heart surgeries and stuff, I get up and go and um, pretty much force yourself. But with this, you can't. Like it, it takes everything out of you, and uh, it's 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 awful. Um, it's very mentally draining um, and physically draining. Um, what else? So now, which we watched a lot of TV, a lot of movies. That's all that we done. Get, was getting sick of watching movies. We watched movies one right after the other. A um, couple of times during that fr time frame, like whenever we first started getting sick, we slept two days, like off and on, like for hours upon hours. One day I remember sleeping the whole time. I'll drink a little bit, eat a little bit, and then just lay on the couch and sleep. Um, <clears throat> and so... Each day went by. It, it's weird. Like you try to force yourself to get up and start 
making yourself feel better instead of having to lay there. And you get up and you start moving around and it hits you like, like you think you feel real good and boom, you're right back at square one. So you go through that a lot, which is bizarre. Um, now I am like, I'm, I'm going to say that I'm 70% because I've been having like breathing, like I, it's hard for me to breathe and stuff. Um, but I, I, I don't know. It's just, it's crazy. Like I still get the pressure in my chest and, um, kind of hard to breathe. I don't know what that is. I don't, <clears throat> I don't know, but that's, I guess, part of it. But, um, that's the only thing. And like, I'm still tired, um, still feel drained. And here lately, I've just been kind of, I don't know, you just feel sluggish. And they say that this crap can last, like the, the side effects for a long, long, like um, over a month or so, because I've been reading up on it. Um, but we're alive, we're, we're well, and um, blessed that the Lord had his hand up on us and we didn't get, you know, any sicker. Um, but guys, stay safe. Wash your, like, I mean, even if you wash your hands, I mean, you need to wash your hands. Uh, everybody, please wash your hands, wear your mask, stay safe. But, you know, this virus, anybody can get it. You can just run up on it and get it. So, I don't wish this, I would not wish this on anybody. It's horrible. It's like a living hell. And um, just please stay safe. Like, please stay safe. Because um, it's it's awful. Like, oh my gosh, it's so bad. And um, I weighed myself, um, I think it was yesterday. And I lost like five pounds. Like, I'm down to 140 pounds. I don't see why because I would like force myself to eat at times. But... I don't know. But anyways, that's what's been going on with me. Um, I had... Is the car going by? I had uploaded some older videos because um, I just... I didn't get to upload anything. And I wanted to keep y'all with videos. Like it was a park video. <coughs> and those were just a bunch that was on my phone. And I just kind of like piled them all together. Back when I would walk at the um, park and um, just different places, I had those on my phone. So I record, like I put them all together and uploaded that. Um, and I had, I uploaded some singing videos and I'm just going to go ahead and talk about that too. Those were actually older videos that I had recorded weeks ago, like way before I had even got sick, way like older videos. And there were comments, thought you had COVID, blah, blah, blah. Um, yes, I did have COVID and no, I didn't record that when I had COVID, but, um, I just wanted stuff to share for you all. So I uploaded the, the songs that were on my phone. Um, but people are silly, like so silly, um, how they do. And like, they have no, like a lot of them have no clue of like when stuff's filmed on my channel. I just upload stuff here and there when I can and, um, I don't have to explain anything really, but I just wanted to make that clear that those were recorded way before I found out that I had COVID. So, um, anyways, I hope y'all are doing good. I hope y'all are staying safe and, um, I'm, I'm really glad that, uh, we're, we're doing good and it wasn't bad like some people, cause a lot of people lost their lives to this and, you know, me being, having heart trouble, that's one thing that I worried about. But thank God that he kept his hand upon me and it didn't get in my lungs and it didn't affect my heart. Like, I'm so thankful for that. I'm so blessed for that. I'm, I'm thankful for God's, you know, hand of protection. Thankful for all the prayers that people's prayed and, uh, God's good to us, like, I was so, you get, I get emotional anyways, and you get tired of sitting in the house, you get tired of laying, I'm like, oh my god, I just want to be better, and, like, I'm a whole lot better, but, like, when I'm, I'm, I'm still so weak, like, I just stay weak, we get, we, we got in the car and drove around and stuff, and I, I, I get throw up sick, I hate it, like, I'm just, like, I want to be better, I want to feel 100%, um, but it takes time to start feeling better. But 
the, I guess this was a couple of days ago, four, well, four or five days ago, I was feeling bad. And um, I'm like, well, I'm going to step outside. And I, I took my prayer journal and I'll come outside to read a little bit. But when I stepped outside, it felt so cool. And the, the breeze was just so like breezy. And I sat down. It was actually right over there. And it was like, and I shared it on my Facebook, but it was like a breath of fresh air. And it was just like every time the wind would blow, it was like God was just like whispering to me. And I could just feel the Lord on me out there, out here when I was sitting. And I was sitting and I was watching the, like I just had to stop and just, I couldn't even get in my prayer journal and write or anything at this moment. And I sat out there and I was just looking. I'll show you. I was just looking and watching the little birds fly around, which there ain't none out here right now. But when I was out here, it was just like heaven opened up and like a bunch of birds were out, squirrels were out. And I was just listening and I was just like, I could just feel the Lord all over me. And um, it was just, just by just stepping out and getting the, the fresh air. Probably shouldn't have been out there, but I think it was meant to be. And I stepped out there and was sitting and... I was like just amazed by God's beauty and like just his grace and his mercy and um, just how good he's been to us and how good he's been to me and my family and keeping us safe even through this COVID bull crap. But, um, you know, his beauty is everywhere and his grace and his mercy is sufficient and like just looking at the trees and the clouds, like the clouds were rolling by and like the sun was golden. And it was just like God was whispering to me, like in the wind. It was so weird. And I'm thankful for that. Like I knew that God was just telling me that, you know, my hand's here upon you and, you know, <coughs> watching over us and my fiance. And because that stuff's serious. Like this COVID, I'm telling you, this COVID's not a, not no joke. It ain't no daggum joke. And, and, you know, you hear people talking about it. People get tired of hearing it. But I'm telling you, this will kick your butt. And it ain't fun. But I had wrote something down. And I'll go get it here in a minute. But hang on one second. Okay, I went and got my... <clears throat> A little prayer journal. So anyways, during this whole process and I was trying to unpack stuff a little at a time, going through this COVID quarantine and being sick and um, I was I was going through, like, I know I'm popping here, there and everywhere, but I was just reminded by this and I'll show it to you. This is a butterfly and it was, this butterfly was down in this big old tub that had my, my mom's and my mamma stuff in it. Had pictures and stuff like that. I'm gonna try not to get emotional. But anyways, I was, <clears throat> I was feeling low and I was missing my kids and, you know, thankful that my kids didn't come down and get all this kind of crap because it's rough. And I was trying to like force myself to do stuff because I hate just sitting. That's just not me. And it kicked my butt. That's all that I've done for over, over two weeks. Sit, laid on the couch. It's all that I've done. Because you're just so weak, you don't feel like doing nothing. It's horrible, y'all. Like, it's freaking horrible. And anyways, I was, I'm like, well, I'm going to force myself, get up, go through these tubs. I made it maybe that one and that's it. Like, I didn't even get it all done. But I was going through my stuff, going through uh, pictures of my mom. And I had posted a couple that day and ran across some letters that my mom had wrote. Kind of touched my heart. Every time I read it, it touches my heart. And as I was getting down to the bottom of that tote, this butterfly. Y'all know how I'm with butterflies and my mamma and my mama. But anyways, this little thing was down there just laying, which it's, it's dead. But it's perfect. Like, there's nothing wrong with it. And... <clears throat> You know, some people could just not think anything of it, but whenever I seen it, I was like, that's a sign, a sign for my mama and my mom. And cause I just felt 
so sick and tired and just like wanting to be feeling better and I just missed my family and I missed my kids and my mama and all of that and this showed up and it's just little things like that how for me God reminds me that you know they're still with us and he's like hey I'm looking down on you and so I picked it up got some white tape and put it there and it's so weird because in that tub, my mamma just, she loved yellow. And in that tub was a yellow, one of her little shawl things that she had. And it had butterflies all over it. And then that's what I seen when I pulled it out before I even seen that. So I'm like, you know, they're here with us and God's got us and he's good to us. Thankful for her. God's hand of protection and I'm thankful for his mercy and his healing power because he is a healer. Um, <clears throat> so anyways, this was a December 6th. So this wasn't too long ago. So so anyways, I'm, I'm just going to give you a little bit what I wrote and this is scattered everywhere. But I want to keep journals and like just things that are up on my mind for whenever you know for my kids whenever that's something they can look back on and remember me of or you know just they're good they're good things to keep I love stuff like this and for me too it's easy to put down for me to look back of things that God's done for me and it's just stuff that I love to do um and anyway so when I walked out and seen all that um what struck me was the beauty of God's creation and I just started writing this was after I soaked everything in and was like I could feel the wind blowing on me and it was just like God whispering to my soul like he was literally touching me and whispering to my soul and um it says every time I see the beauty of your creation it makes my heart and soul so happy just stepping out to get fresh air and to see your beauty that is everywhere. It's in the clouds that pass by, the bright blue puffy clouds, the gray ones that come by and hides the sun. Then those clouds pass by and the bright golden beauty sun I see. The wind that blows sometimes, it's like your whisper of all the times you have been there for me. Or the little birds that chirp and sing of your praise and the thankfulness they have in their hearts. Your creation is everything to me. Oh, the beauty you have given us in our everyday life. So much praise and thankfulness we should have and be, and, and be. So today I'm going to take the time and say, anyways, I was just, this was just stuff that was going through my mind and I was just like, I, I was just in a thankfulness mode this day. Um, <clears throat> I don't know what else I wrote. Um, I walked outside to feel the br the breath of fresh air. The coolness of air felt so fresh and full. As I sat down, I looked around to see all the beauty next to me. The wind that was blowing satis satisfied my soul. The trees that moved as the wind passed by was so relaxing. The leaves are gone of most but still yet they defined beauty and life and that that's another thing like these trees out here they're half of their leaves all of their leaves are gone but still yet in those trees you still see beauty you still see life there's life there and i was just reflecting on that the birds that sing and and was so full of praise the clouds that passed by the sun that shined and led the way we have hope we have life we should thank God in every situation that we face. For God is God and worthy to be praised. Anyways. So, and just things like that. Um, he's he, he's very remindful. And I owe that to him. Like, I'm, I'm thankful for that. Thankful that he kept us safe and um, kept us and... Um, 
we made it past this. That light is reflecting there. But anyway, so that's what's been going on. I have two birch boxes, or is it birch? No, boxy charms that I need to go in here and review and upload. Um, those have been there. Lord, I got those a while back. Just haven't felt good. I done a couple of singing videos before I came out here and started feeling like crap. So I'm like, I gotta stop. So I done like two songs. I'm gonna upload those here in a little bit. And I had fixed myself up, I guess about three, four days ago. Put on me some makeup. I, it was kind of too dark. I ain't gonna lie to you, but I, ha I hadn't had makeup on in a while. So I'm like, man, I wanna put on some makeup. But boy, I did. I put on some red lipstick too, y'all. And uh, went in there and done me a singing video. I can't remember which, which Christmas one it was, but I'll probably upload those shortly. But anyways, guys, um, that's my updated video. And... Um, that's what's been going on. So I've got to get, I've got to get back to 100% feeling good and, um, keep praying for us. And thanks for watching guys until next time. Um, stay safe. Keep God in your life. Keep God number one, because he is our only hope in this world. He's the only one that will get us through these dark, troubled times. And just don't ever lose up, lose hope because as long as Jesus lives, he's got us as long as his power and you know he's already defeated he's already defeated this corona crap like he knows from the beginning to the end he knows what's going to happen we don't need to be living in fear we can't live in fear um that's the devil's tactics and that's what he wants for us he wants us to be fearful and um and all this stuff satan's a liar the devil's a liar and i'm gonna stand and believe on god's promise and I'm thankful that just everything that he's done for us. So I got to get out of this cold air. This is the, it's watered down now, but it's the Sugar Plum Macchiato, the new one from Dunkin' Donuts. It's really good, y'all. Anyways, <clears throat> until next time, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.